tau overflows is enlightenment gradual or sudden enlightenment is sudden and it cannot be otherwise it is a jump a quantum leap it is discontinuity from your past try to understand if something is gradual the past goes on remaining in it if something is gradual then there is a continuity without any gap from ignorance to knowledge there is a gradual growth but ignorance cannot completely disappear it will remain it will continue because there has been no discontinuity and there has been no gap so the ignorance may become more polished the ignorance may appear wise but it is there the more polished it is then of course the more dangerous it will become the more knowledgeable it is then the more cunning one is and the more capable of deceiving oneself there are two things world and the brahman or consciousness you see either the world or the brahman or consciousness there is no gradual perception from world to consciousness the coin has two sides head and tail the change of perception from one to another is never gradual it is always sudden however in the process of this experience you are becoming aware and more silent and still but the feeling of the divine presence becomes gradually clearer and clearer what is this gradual growth and clarity of the authentic experience is never gradual instead sudden this has been a deep ancient problem is enlightenment sudden or gradual many things have to be understood there has been a tradition that says that enlightenment is gradual and that everything can be divided into degrees everything can be divided into two steps that like anything else knowledge can also be divided you can become more and more wise you can become more and more enlightened this has been widely accepted because the human mind cannot conceive of anything sudden mind wants to divide and analyze mind is a divider degrees can be understood by the mind but suddenness is non mental it is beyond the mind if i say to you that you are ignor- ignorant and gradually you will become wise this is comprehensible you can compliment compliment you can compliment it if i say to you no there is no gradual growth either you are ignorant or not you become enlightened there is a sudden jump then the question arises of how to become enlightened if there were no gradualness there could be no progress if there were no degree of growth no degrees then you could not make progress you could not proceed from where to begin it is a sudden explosion the beginning and the end are both same there is no gap between 
the beginning and the end. So from where to begin? The beginning is the end. It has been the puzzle, a puzzle for the mind. It becomes a comb, a Japanese Zen word for a riddle. But sudden enlightenment seems to be impossible. It is not that it is impossible, but that the mind cannot conceive of it. And remember, how can the mind conceive of enlightenment? It cannot. Enlightenment is beyond the human mind. It is transcendence. It has been widely accepted that this inner explosion is also gradual growth. Even many enlightened ones have conceded that to your minds and they have said yes there is a gradual growth it is not that there is they have said they have said it and accepted your attitude your way of perception they have been in a deep compassion for you they know that if you start thinking that it is gradual, the start will be good. But there will be no gradual growth. This you have to understand. But if you start, if you go on seeking it, someday the sudden thing will happen to you. And it is said that enlightenment is only sudden and no gradual growth is possible. Sometimes in order to encourage or continue or give impetus to the journey of a seeker, he said you are nearing enlightenment or something like that. And if it is said that enlightenment is only sudden and no gradual pro pros growth is possible, you are not even going to start it it will never happen. So that's why out of compassion the Master says you are nearing enlightenment. It is like boiling the water. The process begins slowly and continues gradually. Then suddenly it gains momentum and then like a quantum leap enlightenment happens in a flash. You put the, there is a process for the water to begin boiling. It begins and then it gains impetus, continues and suddenly like a quantum leap you notice that the water has started boiling. This end is sudden. Many enlightened persons have said that enlightenment is a gradual thing just to help you just to persuade you to start. Otherwise, it is difficult for the seekers to persuade. Something is possible through gradual process, but not enlightenment. Not enlightenment, something else. And that something else becomes helpful. For example, if you are making water to evaporate, the process begins gradually by heating the water. But the evaporation will come suddenly at a certain point at 100 degrees Celsius evaporation will happen suddenly. There is no gradual growth between water and vapor. You cannot divide. You cannot say that this water is a little vapor and a little water. Either it is water or it is vapor. Suddenly the water jumps into the state of vapors. There is a jump, not gradual growth, but by heating you are gradually giving heat to the water 
you are helping it to reach the 100 degrees Celsius, the evaporating point. This is a natural growth. Up to the evaporating point, the water will grow in the sense of being more and more hot. Then evaporation will happen suddenly. So there have been masters who were wise and compassionate who used the language of the human mind which can be understood telling you yes there is a gradual growth it gives you courage confidence hope and a possibility that it can happen to you also you cannot attain enlightenment as a sudden explosion but step by step within your limitations with your weaknesses you can grow towards it it may take many lives but still there is a hope you will just get heated by all your efforts there is another thing to remember even hot water is a still water so even if you become more clear in your mind more pure in your perception more moral more centered you are still man not a buddha not enlightened you become more silent more still more calm you feel a deep bliss but still you are a man and your feelings are really negative not positive you feel calm because you are less sensed because you are less tense you feel blissful because you are now clinging less to your miseries you are not creating them you feel collected it is not that you have come to realize the one but only become now that you are less divided remember this your growth is negative you are just the hot water the possibility is there that any moment you will come to the point where evaporation happens when it happens when it happens you will not feel calmness you will not even feel blissful and you will not feel silent this is a strange isn't it but it is so because these attributes are rela relative to their opposites when you are tense you can feel silence when you feel noise you can feel stillness when you are divided fragmented you can feel oneness when you are in suffering anguish you can feel blissful so it is in the background of the black drop whatever is written with the white color is visible to you you will not know anything about health if you have not experienced illness so it is in the backdrop of illness that you feel health or the dimensions of health so these are the attributes which are relative relative to their opposites enough for now